Shoney Rob. So there's, there's a phrase I like to use in life from time to time. Um, I say that there's a million ways you can win the lottery. And when I say that, I don't mean lottery isn't like money or fucking Gus. I mean it like the feeling that you get uh, when you get one of those daily victories, things just seem to go your way. You know, like you go to Chick-fil-A and there's less than 10 cars in the line. <laughs> or you show up for a haircut and Tony's waiting for you. <laughs> or you get an invite to a wedding and you find out Shawnee Rob's gonna be the DJ. It's that feeling. Because you know at some point in time during that night, he's gonna play something just for you. By the time you even realize it and look at him, he's waiting for you. <laughs> There's a million ways to win a lottery. I wanna tell you about the first time I did. I was eight years old. And me and Sean got randomly placed on the same Little League baseball team. And what was a simple roster assignment ended up being one of the best things that ever happened to me. I met Sean. He was so fucking cool, man. <laughs> Way cooler than me. For some reason, he just found me funny. I hit the lottery. Our friendship started there, and it continued into the fall. He convinced me to sign up to play football. Most of our relationship at that point consisted of hanging out before and after practice and games. Um, but it really took the next step that fall when we were at a birthday party together and he knocked me out. <laughs> like left hook to the face, dropped me. And the worst part was it was my birthday party. <laughs> uh, just turned nine, it was at my house and you know, we loved WWF, we loved wrestling growing up and uh, we started wrestling, we started trash talking and I started calling Sean names. One name in particular, I kept calling him Punky Brewster. <laughs> and he didn't like that. And he told me that he didn't like that. A couple minutes go by, and I'm hard headed, I'm feeling good. I got my Eagles Ricky Waters jersey on, you know, and I called him Punky Brewster again. And he let me know that was going to be the last time that was going to happen. <laughs> and it was. It was. Um, most friendships at that point maybe would have fractured and ended. You know, getting knocked out on your birthday is something most kids would probably hold a grudge about. Uh, but now Sean, you know, he apologized, I apologized, and he was the last kid left at my house that year and was gonna sleep over. Um, but that night, like my mom and dad, they got in, like a real bad fight, real bad, and it got violent. And, you know, I was used to it, but to a typical nine-year-old, scary stuff. And I had some friends who planned to sleep over in the past and things would get crazy at my house and they would just call their mom and they would go home. So I pretty much knew what was coming. Uh, I went up into the bedroom and I was embarrassed. You know, we went up into my bedroom and I, I looked up at Sean. I looked up at him, I was still a little school. I said, you know, you can call your mom if you want. And he looked at me the same way he would, he said, for what? I said, you know, you can call your mom if you want. You know, if you're scared, you, know, you can go home if you're scared. He said, well, if we're scared, we're gonna be scared together. I'm staying with you. And uh, I don't know if he knew in the moment, but like that meant the world to me. Uh, every other friend in that situation had bailed and he stuck it out. And I said that it really wasn't the left hook but his words and actions in that moment that hit me the hardest that day. Plus back then he hit like a real bitch. <laughs> but I hit the lottery that night. I gained a brother, not just a friend. I learned two things that night. You stick by your friends in tough times. You just don't call Sean names. <laughs> But he had a lot of titles, uh, like I read earlier. You know, he was a son, brother, cousin, 
nephew, he was uncle. He was coach. He was a leader, a champion, record holding, record spinning. He was everything. So I say there's a million ways to win the lottery. And with Sean, we all hit the jackpot. 